Hi everyone, it's Buddy. I am going to do something today because uh, the, apparently there's been some confusion on how I use Sergeant Arts, which is a, an economy product, but I like it. It works very well for me. Um, how I use it to get a nice, clear, not yellowed, no bubbles finish on my painting. There you go. That one didn't yellow. And that's got a beautiful finish on it. See? No yellowing, none whatsoever. All right. So, this is Sergeant Arts. This is used as a medium or varnish for use with acrylic paint, non-toxic. Permanent finish, water reducible, non-yellowing. Clean with soap and water before drying. Okay, special instructions, medium use. Use over finished work to protect and enhance increased color depth. Varnish use, mixed with acrylic paint. Uh, with, they got it backwards. It's probably not even, it says made in the USA, but I don't think they realize there's a typo there. Okay, so it does absolutely say you can dilute it with water. So here's this, what it looks like when it's full strength. You can see how thick it is. I don't know if, there we go. You can see how thick that is, okay? This is it after it's been watered. See how, you can even hear it, okay? I don't know what my dilution rate is. I, I don't measure, never have. I tried that once and it just, I didn't see any difference. So anyway, and not with this, but with poor painting, anywho. So I painted this, it's a piece of plastic baffling with titanium white. Here's the artist off titanium white. I put two pieces of masking tape. We're not gonna do anything to the center. We're gonna do full strength on this side and we're gonna dilute it on this side and we're gonna see if it yellows. Alrighty, so this is gonna be the full strength here. And this is all I would put on, just hardly any. Not even a tablespoon. That's way too much already. I just, I don't consider that pouring. Pouring is if you were to take it and like a cup, like pour it on. To me, that's just squirting it on there. And I use my little applicator here that I made. I've already got it on my last video, or one of the videos. And it's just a piece of silicone cutting mat that I use to spread out my product onto my paintings now. Okay. It's a tiny bit more, that's probably too much, but so again, it's the full strength. It's just got a lot of grooves and valleys in it because it's kind of textured, this piece of plastic, like a canvas would be. And yes, when it comes out of the bottle, it turns blue. I don't know why it does that. Um, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you, and I'm not, it's not that important to me, so I'm not even gonna call them and ask them. It might be some kind of additive they put in there to prevent it, or to cancel any yellowing. I don't know, because you know that in the color world, blue will cancel out, violet will cancel out, yellow and orange and things like that, or brassy colors. At least it did with health colors. I don't know about painting. Okay. So that's good enough. That is good there. Now, I'm gonna use the opposite side of this. You can see where that's on there. Here, I'll even wipe it off. Okay, now we're gonna use the opposite side of this. I'm gonna use this curved side for this side, for the diluted side. And then I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speed it up by hair drawing it. So it's probably gonna craze. And I put a lot on there. Well, that's actually kind of way too much. That's enough for an entire painting. So we're gonna pull some of that off. So I just go like this. You see how easily it spreads? Yeah, that's way too much. Um, I can put that on something. Yeah, we'll put it on here. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll just spread that out on to my canvas and I'll spread it out on a piece of plastic too. See, there you go, that's how easy that is. And I hardly used any for this entire painting at all. Small puddle. No bubbles, no lines, and I'll set that over to dry. I'll show it to you when we get finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish See how much smoother it even applies. 
than the full strength. Okay, so diluted, none, full strength. You can already tell I see a little bit of yellowing happening with the full strength side, none with the diluted side. Before y'all say anything about my pink hair dryer, it was on sale and it was the only color they had. Dry, dry. So let's take the tape off. I'm just gonna pull it back far enough so that, okay, so this is the non-diluted side. There, I don't see any yellowing. I see some discoloration because it was dirty, but um, hairs and stuff like that because I'm in a hurry. I don't see any yellowing. Let's check on the other side. I think I see a little bit up in here. I'm not sure. I see it yellowing in here where it's really thick, but it's dry. Um, and look at the difference. Look how this is all craggly and brush marky and all that kind of stuff. This is real smooth. See the difference? And there is no yellowing. I don't see a difference except right here I do. So I use it without, I mean, with dilution. And I usually just kind of check. I make it to where it's a water consistency, not a thick liquid. Um, so I'll bring you all down and you can take a better look at it. Oops. Okay, so here you go. This is the diluted side. You can see how it yellowed a little bit. I mean, on the non-diluted side. This is the side where I didn't dilute, and you can see how roughly it applied. It's all, well, plus it's crazed because I dried it real quick. Okay, and then this is the non-diluted side. So if that's yellowed, then it's then I don't know what white is because that is not yellowed. This is slightly yellowed, but I never use it full strength and I never said to. I always said dilute it. So anyway, there you go. That's exactly how I apply it. I use a piece of old uh, cutting board mat that I um, cut off one that I found and it's made out of silicone. It's smooth as a baby's butt on one side and it's textured on the other. Guess which side I use to apply it. So there you go. That's how I do this, and if y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.